What is up gang, in today's video we're going to be going over the framework that will help you turn one idea into 21 interesting videos in just a few minutes. That's almost a month's worth of content. And hopefully by the end of this video, the struggle of coming up with video ideas and spending hours on planning your content for the month will be non-existent in your content creation process. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first things first, you're gonna wanna come up with a main or core topic. And this is gonna be more of a broader topic. So, you know, for example, it could be fitness, music, sports, just something that's a very, that can, be broken up into smaller subtopics and we'll get into that a little bit more but you want to pick a main topic that you are knowledgeable in or an expert in and it doesn't necessarily have to be what you're teaching people but just something that you are knowledgeable in a field that you you know a lot about next once you have your core topic like i said we're going to be breaking this up into a few different subtopics so preferably you're going to want to pick three subtopics and for fitness, we could just do cardio, weightlifting, and nutrition. Now, once you have your subtopics picked out, you're gonna wanna make a video around the seven following video topics or categories that I'm about to tell you. And these seven categories are quick tips, industry myths, common mistakes, personal stories, common questions, actionable step-by-step -step systems, and a product or service review. And the reason we're gonna make a video around each of these seven categories is because these are very engaging and really interesting video topics to really talk about within each subtopic. So let's dive a little bit deeper into each category because each category has its own benefits for your personal brand and delivers value in different ways to your audience. So the first one is quick tips and quick tips are really just video exactly how it sounds you're gonna be wanting to make videos around a quick tip or a quick piece of advice that is related to the subtopic and the reason for these quick tips the reason we're gonna be making videos around these is because these are easy ways for you to continue your output because realistically you do want to be putting out at least one video every single day and quick tips are just an easy way to do that in an easy way to sustain it next we have industry myths and industry myths are gonna be videos going over a false belief within the subtopic and this is a perfect way to not only provide value to your audience but it's a way for you to showcase your expertise and knowledge on the subtopic because now you're dissolving a common belief within the subtopic and you're going against what many people would talk about so this automatically shows that you are knowledgeable in the subtopic because you're talking about things that normal people wouldn't know Next, we have common mistakes, and common mistake videos are gonna be going over exactly how it sounds, common mistakes that people make within the subtopic. And these videos are not only a great way to really provide value to your audience, but you're also, again, proving your expertise and knowledge in the subtopic because you're literally correcting what people do wrong. And now you're kind of acting as a coach figure to your audience. Next, we have personal stories, and personal stories are some of the most important videos you can make because now you're allowing yourself to open up to your audience more, and you're going to be building a deeper relationship with your audience because they are getting a deeper look into your life. So please feel free to open up to your audience. They want to know more about you as a person, so don't feel like you need to only make videos relating to the, you know, what you're an expert in. So for personal stories, you can make a personal story that may not showcase your expertise necessarily but it allows you to open up to your audience and maybe have an experience within that subtopic that somebody may be able to connect to next we have common questions and these videos are really just going to be going over and answering some common questions that people may have about the subtopic and a great way to get some questions are is either by asking your friends and family maybe some questions that they have about the subtopic or you can literally go into your comment section and reply with a video answering some common questions that people have or that are that people are commenting again this is another really really great way to showcase your expertise on the subtopic next we have actionable step-by-step -step systems and trust me it's not as complicated as it sounds you're literally just going to be providing a method sort of like this video uh, that generates some sort of result related to the subtopic so for example if we take our subtopic cardio 
and make a actionable step-by-step -step system around it, we can make the video around improving cardio form or improving your cardio experience with three steps you want to make these steps actionable like they the viewers should be able to leave your video and actually implement these steps that you teach them and these videos are honestly some of the best ways you can provide value to your audience because now they're able to take the steps that you provide in this video and go implement them in their life for themselves and if they get the result that you were promising they will be more likely to engage in your videos follow you buy your products etc because you're literally teaching them proven stuff last but not least we have product or service reviews and these are literally how it sounds you're just going to be reviewing a product or service that is related to the subtopic and one thing to keep in mind with these product or service reviews is that you want to be reviewing product or services that you actually use and enjoy and there's a couple reasons for that one you always want to be providing value to your audience and so by reviewing or giving a false review on a product that you don't actually use or you don't actually like then you're essentially lying to your audience and you're not actually giving them credible value also reviewing products or services that you actually use can be super beneficial with brand deals because brands can reach out to you and give you brand deals if your video performs well or if they see it and they just really like it you can start to build a longer term relationship with that brand and brand deals are where a lot of money can be made. I actually had this happen to me once. I posted a video about a software uh, that helps you focus more and it got around 2 million views and the software literally reached out for a brand deal. So definitely implement product or service reviews in your content calendar. And just like that, you have 21 interesting videos that you can now plan and record. And honestly, my intention behind giving you this framework is to hopefully eliminate some of that resistance that you have towards content creation and building a personal brand so that your output can be more and you can get more significant results. Because when you break parts of the content creation process up into little systems and frameworks like this, it makes the overall process of content creation super easy and honestly not that difficult. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed and let me know in the comment section what future videos you'd like to see from me and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.